There are so many aspects of this game. And you have your entire day to experience all of these aspects. And it can be situations where you need to be open and honest with yourself about what exactly it is you are experiencing. Exactly what are you thinking? Is your approach to this or that a good approach that will actually give you the outcome you desire? It can be a little overwhelming to have to be open and honest with yourself when you realize that it's a very big task. If you are on a lower frequency, you will have so many opportunities to experience the matrix throughout the day. And unless you are honest with yourself, unless you are precise and admitting to yourself that right now I'm experiencing anger or I'm experiencing judgment or I'm doubting myself or whatever it should be that isn't empowering and freedom then you will see that it's a big task but it doesn't mean that it's going to be difficult it just means that it's a lot of work and if it is a lot of work then it simply just means that you are very often not in the moment you are very often not here and now and what can you do about it well a very healthy root core efficient approach would be to determine yourself to be honest with yourself no matter what always in any situation whatever it should be it's kind of like i said that you could benefit from reaching for a little bit too much because right now you wouldn't be able to suddenly have a 9-11 level of honesty towards yourself in all the experiences you're having throughout the day but you would resonate with so many more of the opportunities where you can actually be honest with yourself and when you've done this for one week or a month it's very difficult to give a good example of how efficient that's actually going to be have a core healthy root determination of being honest with yourself so that you can be in 9-11 no matter what you have done no matter what you are thinking about certain things Realize that it's okay. You're just one of everyone who was trapped in the matrix. You know, it's the most normal thing. Really. There isn't really anything that's more normal and that is just as normal as breathing. So if you can determine yourself to finally being honest with yourself. Finally admitting to yourself what you're really doing what you're really thinking and forgive yourself be fine with it if you can commit to like that if you understood what I said now you will have absolutely phenomenal progress in this game it's such an important thing to be honest with yourself let's say hypothetically that you're experiencing not the highest frequency let's say it's a lower frequency and you're experiencing a thought or an experience that is unpleasant it's a lower frequency one and let's say for example it is about not being good enough if you can get to the root of that you will see that there is one or a few specific reasons that you think that you are not good enough it might be that you 
you got to that idea when you were younger, maybe. Maybe someone told you and maybe you believed it. And right now that feels in a certain way. The experience you had back then has a certain feeling to it. And that is pretty much the, the feeling that you're feeling now. If you aren't honest with yourself about what happened back then, if you aren't willing to, to revisit that experience and think about how legit your reasons for feeling like this really is, now that you are more mature, now that you can look at it from a more grown-up, higher-frequency perspective, but instead you choose to, to think that, um, that now everything is fine. You don't feel that you aren't good enough. If you feel that you aren't good enough, you need to be honest with yourself so you can take care of it. Or else the approach you will have to different things in life will be an approach based on you not being good enough. You not deserving it. You not being someone who can achieve it. I suggest you lay down or sit down and you spend a little time with it. Stay here and now in the moment and accept that that is how you feel. And then take a look at that feeling. And you don't necessarily need to recognize exactly what it was that made you feel like this. But have a mature look at it. And see, is it legit? Is this truly how you need to feel? And face it. Allow yourself to feel it. Because from that point of feeling it, of allowing the fact that this is what you are experiencing, then you can change that thing. You need to face it. You need to be honest. And it's a big job. It's something you need to, to stay aware of throughout the day. How do you feel? And if you catch something like that, then you make it a good habit to face it. To allow yourself to feel it. And from there, how you choose to deal with it. If you choose to simply intend that I'm going to allow myself to be neutral about this. Or I'm going to allow myself to, to feel good. To break free. You know, it's up to you. Whatever you think is the most powerful thing. Whatever you ultimately want to achieve. Essentially, you just want to be free. You don't want to walk around and think that you're not good enough. But unless you face it, it's going to remain a problem. And that exact thing is going to remain there. You need to allow yourself to feel it. And from there on, you can change it. And when I say honest and precise, I mean that unless you deal with that exact thing by allowing yourself to feel that exact thing and lean into it and look at it from a more mature perspective, then you won't deal with that exact thing. So you need to be precise. This is how I feel. This is what I need to deal with. And if you deal with something else instead, well then you have dealt with something else. But this thing will still be there. And it's a lot of work. And it's actually very, very easy when you realize how it works. You just need to allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to be free from that thing. And if you need to cry a little, then you cry. So, choose to be honest and precise. No matter what.